Hi, my name is Melinda and in this video I'll show you how to use a multiple frame in Digital Scrapbook Artist so you can take different photographs and have them snap into each opening of your multiple frame. I would like to thank Shelley for emailing me this question. Since I actually don't have a multiple frame, I'm just going to create one myself just using different frames. And one thing that you're going to notice in Digital Scrapbook Artist is when you go through your frame section, you're going to see that every single frame is just a single opening. There are no double opening frames. And I think the reason for this is because it's just not possible for the software to do what you want it to do. But of course, there's a workaround for everything, so I'm going to show you how that workaround goes. Now basically, I'm just using a completely free digital kit that I downloaded off the internet, and this is by Catherine's Designs. I will also place a link right here so that if you wanted to download this kit and play with it, you can. So I'm just, you know, throwing something together really quick. And if you go over into layers, you can see that I've got seven different items that make up my uh, multi-frame. So personally, I don't care if I have like 140 different items here because I just print everything out. But for some people, you might care. You might not want all these layers. So in that case, you just draw an imaginary box around all of your layers and then you convert it to a bitmap. To do that, just go to Tools at the top of the screen and click on Convert to Bitmap. With this next box, you just leave everything the way that it is and just click on OK. And you'll see that my seven items suddenly becomes one item. That means it's now a bitmap. Now let me just show you how Digital Scrapbook Artist works. If you go into your frames section, and let's just say I drag this over into my frames, the software will automatically create a frame. But here's the catch. If I now take my newly created frame with the three openings, the software actually only sees one opening, even though there's three openings. So if I go to Photos, and let's say I want to move this photograph right over here, if I do that and I just click into the middle of that, the software will actually put it into every opening because it honestly thinks that all of these openings are one frame. So it's kind of annoying, but there's a workaround, so I'm just deleting that. This is what you do. You take your original image, and what you do is you select it, then you go over here, and you see how outline is to the back? Send it to the front, then click on transparency, because you're going to be using the scissors, and you don't want there to be any outline. You just go to the top of the screen while this is selected, you click on scissors, and then you want it to be a straight cut. So if you don't have straight cut listed, just go down the list until you find this straight line, click on it once, go to smoothness, and make sure about 25% is selected. Then it's really easy. You just start at the outside of your first frame, and you're just going to draw all the way through to the other side, let go of your left mouse button, and then go over here and start again from the outside, and you just go up to your first cut section, you let go, and then you click on select to turn off your uh, scissors, click once off of your image, and now you'll see that you've divided your frames into three different sections. All you need to do now is go to frames, and you're just going to take this first portion, you're going to drag it into your frames. When it's in there, you can press the delete key on your keyboard and get rid of that part. I'm also going to get rid of these shadows, which were left over, from using the scissors, and I cut the ribbon so that got the shadows left over. I don't need those shadows. I'm going to take the next one, I'm just going to drag it in here, and then drag this one over here. Now I can delete these two because I don't need them anymore. All I need to do now is take my three different frames, put them back together, and it's pretty easy to do. You just click on the first one, you sort of move it up to the section that you want it, and then using the arrow keys on your keyboard, you're just going to move it into place until you can no longer see the cut lines. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'll just bring it up, use my arrow keys so that it goes back into place, and then again, when there are no more cut lines left, you've got your frame right back to the way that it was before you sliced it. Now, even though it looks like it's one frame, it's actually three different frames. So if you go into photographs, and if I want to take this photograph and move it here, I just drag it to the middle with my mouse, let go, and you're going to see it snaps into place. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to move it over here. Same thing, I just drag it, 
With my mouse in the middle of the frame I let go and it snaps into place. And finally I can do the same thing for my last photograph, snap it into place. If I'm not happy with the placement I can click on crop and then I can just move it around the way I want, maybe make it a little bit smaller and just move it up over here. Once I'm happy and I've cropped all my images the way that I want them to be, I just draw an imaginary box. Let's start at the top here, all the way around. I click on group and now when I move one of these images, you can see that the whole thing moves. I can rotate everything at once. I can also make it smaller if I wanted to. I can make it larger if I wanted to. And if at any time I want to change my photos around, I would click on it, ungroup it, slide my photos into the place where I want, and then group it up again. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca and I'd like to thank Shelley again for asking this great question.